I have this 50 feet extension, it's uh, 8 gauge extension wire plugged into the my dryer electric dryer outlet which produce 220 volts so I'm gonna use multimeter to check and make sure that I do get 220 volts out of this outlet okay that um, I can indeed weld uh, using my 220 volts um, 250 amps welder okay okay so you can see these two when I put my multimeter prompt into into these two and I get um, 119 volts AC 119 volts AC and I'm gonna switch this red plug to the other side and I'm sure I'm gonna get another 120 volts so that's how this thing works in other words each prompt is giving me 120 volts together give me 220 volts you know so I'm gonna put this in there and put this in there as you can see that gives me the 119 volts when I switch to the red color uh, pump of my multi meter you see that 119 volts 119.9 you know that's how um, so I see so I know this is producing 120 volts um, of, of this this plug this extension plug is delivering 120 volts from on the right hand side and also 120 volts on the left hand side that gives me 220 volts in this uh, multimeter okay so I know I'm good okay so the extension wire is producing 220 volts to my welder so I'm gonna check the ground uh, clamp of my welder and then if I still have mistakes or if I still can't get an arc I'm gonna sparks I'm gonna from my welder I'm gonna have to tear into this welder so the first thing to troubleshoot is make sure you have power 220 volts power into the welder and I have I do have because as you can see here I plug that in I move the red plug from the left to the right um, as you can see now and I'm seeing the multimeter is producing 118.6 118.5 you know so that gives me when I have the three prompts uh, welder plug plugged into this uh, yellow uh, adapter female plug that gives me a combined a combination of 220 volts you see that 119.6 119.5 when I move the rep prompt um, of my multimeter to the left that gives me almost 120 volts 119.9 119.7 you know so now I move that red prompt of the multimeter from the left side to the right side and as you can see as soon as I insert this red prompt I'm getting 119 119.2 you know so that tells me I have 220 volts in this yellow uh, plug okay so power is not an issue I the extension wire is not an issue even though it's an 8 gauge wire um, of this uh, of this welder so the next thing I want to troubleshoot is I want to make sure this ground clamp is good it's a brand new ground clamp so I don't see any frail I don't see any brokenness I don't see anything wrong with this ground clamp and this is a thick uh, wire I don't think it's as big as my uh, 220 volts wire there but this ground clamp seems to be I don't want to say it's 8 gauge I want to say it's probably 12 gauge because it's only half of that um, half
half of the thickness of the eight gauge because this is the eight and this I'm not sure this may be 10 or 12 because um, the bigger the number of the gauge the thinner the wire okay so this this is the ground cable um, this is the ground cable let's see ground cable yeah too many so this is the ground cable as you can see here I'm going to separate it the ground. this is the power plug that I was talking about so this is the power plug this is the power plug that that uh plug into this yellow thing that gives me the 220 volts uh, 220 volts you know so um, and then the ground cable is um, as you can see here is connected back to this positive in there you know um, this positive in there so the ground cable is good um, and this here he is kind of wiggling but uh, it shouldn't be uh, matter it shouldn't matter you know so I'm gonna have to check what's inside the number three step is to tear into this uh, box and uh, to see what's going on inside why there's no um, why there's no uh, power in here